and tongues to sing my great Redeemer's praise. The glories of my God and King, the triumphs of His grace. My gracious Master and my God assist me to proclaim to spread through all the earth abroad the honors of thy name. Jesus, the name that charms our fears, that bids our sorrow cease. Tis music in the sinner's ears, tis life and health and peace. He breaks the power of canceled sin, he sets the prisoner free. His blood can make the foulest clean. His blood availed for all. Do you believe it? Let's sing that verse again. He breaks the power. He breaks the power of canceled sin. He sets the prisoner free. His blood can make the foulest clean. His blood availed for me. Hear him, he deaf, his praise he dumb, your loosened tongues employ. Ye blind, behold, your Savior come, and leave me lame for joy. Hear him, he deaf, his praise he dumb, your loosened tongues employ. Ye blind, behold, your Savior come. another old hymn let's sing the chorus first Jesus is the joy of living he's the king of life to me you know it's easy to sing a lot of these songs and if it's not true that's just a lie but even if it hasn't been true I encourage you to sing it in faith sing it with the faith that it will be true in your life that he will be the only reason you're living the king of life to you to you and unto him you're giving everything to be forever his Jesus is the joy of living. He's the king of life to me. Unto him my all I'm giving. His forevermore to be. I will do what all will you commands me. Anywhere he leads, I'll go. Jesus is the joy of living. He's the dearest friend I know. I have found a wondrous Savior, Jesus Christ, the soul's delight. Every blessing of His favor fills my heart with hope so bright. Jesus is the joy of living. He's the king of life to me. Unto him my all I'm giving is forevermore to be. I will do what he commands me. Anywhere he leads I'll go. Jesus is the joy of living. He's the dearest friend I know. Life is growing rich with beauty. Toil has lost its weary sting. Now a halo crowns each duty. And I sing a glad refrain. Jesus is the joy of living. He's the king of life to me. Unto him my all I'm giving is forevermore to be. I will do what he commands me. Anywhere he leads, I'll go. Jesus is the joy of living. He's the dearest friend I know. Heavenly wisdom he provides me. Grace to keep my spirit free. In his own sweet way 
he guides me where the path I cannot see. Jesus is the joy of living. He's the king of life to me. Unto him my all I'm giving is forevermore to be. I will do what he commands me. Anywhere he leads, I'll go. Jesus is the joy of living. He's the dearest friend I know. Oh, what splendor, oh, what glory. Oh, what matchless power divine. Is the Christ a gospel story. Christ the Savior who is mine. Praise you, Lord. Thank you. Jesus is the joy of living. He's the king of life to me. Unto him my all I'm giving is forevermore to me. I will do what he commands me. Anywhere he leads, I'll go. Jesus is the joy of living. He's the dearest friend I know. Amen. You may be seated. Let's spend a few minutes in prayer, consecrating our lives afresh. I encourage you, dear brother, sister, friend, children even, don't do this out of ritual when we gather here every Sunday, even though it's the same time and we fall, generally follow a similar format. Jesus is alive. There's a freshness to him. His word is the same. It's been the same for over 2,000 years, written word. But there's a freshness to it. There's a freshness to everything about God. And even if it might seem like our daily lives, our Christian walk with him, is there's a routine to it, going to work and doing things with our children and our families going to school for your children. There's a freshness that God wants you to have and that can only come through the Holy Spirit. So ask him to fill you with the Holy Spirit who's full of freshness, fresh oil. Lord Jesus, that's the cry of our heart. Pray to him, dear brother, sister, children even. Pray to him, lift up your voice to him and he will hear you. Ask him to fill you with the Holy Spirit. He longs to do that. Lord, that's the cry of our heart, Lord. We need that freshness of heaven. Thank you in heaven where you are the same yesterday, today and forever. You're always fresh. There's a newness of life in you that you want us to experience. Give us that life, Lord, we pray. Give us your life. That's the only request we have. You can take everything else away, but give us Jesus, the Christ in us, the hope of glory. That's what we long for. So send your Holy Spirit upon us, Lord, every one of us. We ask you, Lord, and we're going to keep on asking, like that widow who came back to the judge, like that man who was knocking on the door of his neighbor, until you send that anointing, Lord, and until you continue to send that anointing every day. We want to obey the command that you gave us to be being filled with the Holy Spirit. We believe you'll do that. You're a good God. You're a loving Father. You've planned our lives from the beginning to the very end. You wrote the end from the beginning, Lord. Thank you that you are the same. And you are, you are, your plans for us have not changed despite the fact that we messed it up so often. We sin. We've sinned, Lord. And you, you, yet you've made, you took it all into account. You factored that all in when you sent Jesus, your Son. And you who gave your own son freely on our behalf, how much more will you not give us what we need? So we come to you with our request, Lord, on the basis of the fact that you've actually already given us everything we need in Christ. We thank you for that. We exalt you and praise you. I want you to be lifted up, Lord. I pray for any here listening to this prayer in this room or online who are in need, Lord, spiritually. Any foothold that Satan has in any life, any anything that's besetting anyone, spiritual stronghold. In the name of Jesus, we bind the work of Satan and loose those that need to be loosed, Lord. You gave that authority to the church, and so we come to you on the basis of what you said we could ask for, what you said we could do. And we ask you, Lord, that you'll break the bonds of any who are bound in sin. Restore marriages, Lord, that are growing distant or cold. Restore relationships with children that are growing distant and cold. Children with parents, parents to children. I pray that our children will grow up to love you, Lord, to be obedient to their parents, to be respectful, to love you, Lord, and to reverence you with everything that they do, to see that this life that we're living is not just showiness, Lord. It's not religiosity. It's not even words, Lord, but it's power. It's righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Spirit, Lord, that they're seeing in our marriages, that they're seeing in their homes, Lord, as a contrast to the world around them. This is the longing we have, Lord, 
for our children as well, that they will experience this life that you've given us. So touch them even now, Lord, what they hear, uh, hear or in their Sunday school classes. We lift up our material and our physical needs as well, Lord. Thank you that you care for them. Only for this reason, Lord, because we want to be pleasing to you with our bodies here on this earth. We want to have strength in our bodies that we might further your work on this earth, that we might build your kingdom, build your church here on this earth. So give us healthy bodies, Lord. Touch our bodies. We pray for any who are sick, some in our midst that are sick today and not here, others who may be dealing with constant pain and fatigue and uh, other forms of sickness, Lord. Pray for those who deal with things that they've been born with, perhaps disabilities and other physical needs. In the name of Jesus, touch them and heal them, we pray, Lord. You're a miracle-working God. We know you can touch and heal even the most impossible-seeming things. But we ask you in the name of Jesus, Lord, and according to your will, we say, not our will, but yours be done. Yes. And we believe that that will be the best for us. You will either heal us or give us grace and power to overcome it despite the thorns in our flesh, Lord. And thank you that you bore our sicknesses. You even bore our sin. You solved that greatest problem of all when you took our sin. And thank you that there's no problem too great for you today. We praise you and exalt you. Our physical needs, Lord, our material needs, our job situations, financial needs. You care about all of that, Lord. Help us not to trust in riches. We're so rich, Lord, compared to most of the rest of the world, every single one of us. But help us not to trust in riches, but to fix our hope on you, yes. our God, the eternal God, the everlasting God, who is our Father, from whom come all things. Our hope is fixed on you, Lord Jesus. We're not looking at the bank account. We're not even looking at our jobs. We're not looking at the bills that need to be paid. Our eyes are on you, yes. and you will provide for our need. Help us to be wise in the use of money. Help us to be disciplined, Lord Jesus. Yes. And help us to live in the fear of you all the time, Lord. They, we knowing that your eyes are across the face of the earth. You see everything, the evil and the good. And you're on our side against the devil. Thank you for that hope that is there. Thank you, Lord Jesus, that you are there, seated at the right hand of the Father. That's never going to change. You've taken your place there for all eternity. And our hope is fixed there. Our anchor is there at the right hand of the Father because you said it could be there. And so our, our, we, we, won't be, we won't drift uh, into the ocean, Lord. We won't... Uh, drift away because we've cast our anchor in you thank you that you're coming as soon thank you that your forgiveness is real is permanent thank you. you cleansing is permanent lord we don't have to go back and live and and be discouraged over past sins that you've cleansed us from help us to live that way lord and to live free from all sin to cleanse ourselves from all filthiness of the flesh and the spirit but we thank you for your blood lord jesus thank you for the impossible thing that you did in saving us in cleansing us from our sin, justifying us, and seating us there with you in the heavenly places. Be exalted, Father, we pray. Be exalted, Lord Jesus. It's in your name we pray. Amen. Come me sinners lost and lonely Jesus' blood can make you free for he saved the worst among you When he saved a wretch like me And I know Oh, sing from your heart Yes, I know Yes, I know Jesus' blood can make the vilest sinner clean And I know Yes, I know Jesus' blood can make the vilest sinner clean. To that faith He giveth power. Through the mountains makes a way. Findeth water in the desert. Turns the night to gold. I know Jesus' blood can make the vilest sinner clean, and I know, yes I know, Jesus' blood can make the vilest sinner clean, in temptation he is near thee, holds the power of hell at bay, guides 
you to the path of safety gives you grace for every day and I know yes I know Jesus' blood can make the vilest sinner clean and I know yes I know Jesus' blood can make the vilest sinner clean He will keep thee while the aged Oh, He will roll throughout eternity good to me and I know yes I know Jesus blood can make the vilest sinner clean and I know yes I know Jesus blood can make the vilest sinner clean Jesus blood can Jesus' blood can make the vilest sinner clean. Jesus said, I know my sheep, they hear my voice. No one can pluck them out of my hand. No one. I'm convinced of this, Paul says, that neither death nor life, nor principalities, power, not even angels, can separate us from the love of God which is in Christ Jesus. Loved with everlasting love, led by grace, this love to love, gracious. Oh, do you know this love? Sing from your heart. From above, he has taught. Thou hast taught me it is so. Oh, this cruel and Transport all divine in a line it cannot cease, which cannot cease. I am his and he is mine in a line which cannot cease. I am his and he is mine. Let's have the sisters sing this second verse.
change the way you live this week but while God and I shall be I am his and he is oh what rest what triumph in resting in God this is not an emotion oh I hope it's not for you dear brothers and sisters but a reality of life he wants you to lean on his breast today to come in and let him envelope you be all around you in you filling you with a foundation that will change the way you live that will take control of your tongue so you can never complain again you'll never speak a word of unbelief or even have a thought of anxiety or worry you are his he's yours Here's another old hymn we'd like to sing. You know, I think we need to sing, stand for this. Can you stand with us and sing? We never need be vanquished. Children, you know what the word vanquished means? That means defeated. You're on a team that's never going to lose. Satan's already defeated. We never need to give in. Even though you're waging this war with Satan and there's sin all around you, temptations will beset you in that next part of that verse. Allurements. Allurements means things that are attractive of the world around you. You will feel the attraction, attractiveness of, of the world around you. But don't give in. In the name of Jesus, we shall, we must prevail. We never need be vanquished. We never need give in. The waging war with Satan and compass round by sin. Temptations will be set us allurements stopped us sin. But in oh, we shall. the name of Jesus, we shall, we must prevail. He leaves us on in triumph and overcoming man, while victory crowns his progress, for none can stay his hand. Our is our mind. He arms us for the conflict and trains our hands to fight. God's will's not that his people by sin or come should be, but that their lives henceforth oh, yes. be lives of victory. And so at our disposal he places all his power that we from its resources may draw in dangers are herein is hid the secret of an all glorious life whereby we conquer Satan and rise above sin's strife abiding in the Savior self prostrate to the dust we live to do his bidding in that perpetual trust you might have missed it that was a long verse a long sentence so let's read it again herein is hid the secret it's hidden of an all glorious life by which we conquer Satan and rise above sin's strife it's abiding in the Savior it's not trying to do it better it's not saying okay I'm gonna do it better this week it's abiding in the Savior putting self prostrate in the dust allowing self to be reproached allowing self
to die. We live to do his bidding in glad, perpetual trust, constant trust in him. Let's sing that verse again. Herein is hid the secret of an all-glorious life, whereby we conquer Satan and rise above sin's strife, abiding in the Savior, self-prostrate in the dust. We live to do his bidding in glad, perpetual trust. We in ourselves are nothing, a small and feeble host, nor have we aught of prowess wherewith to make our boast. Our stronghold is Christ Jesus, His grace alone we plead. His name our shield and banner, Himself just all we need. Our stronghold is Christ Jesus, His grace alone we plead. His name our shield and banner, Himself just all we need.